hello friends welcome to another video and it's a continuation part of the uh, browser style and today video I will demonstrate you how we can integrate uh, the selenium test cases with a browser stack and run them in the cloud uh, as you know uh, browser stack also facilitate facilitate to the run the our test cases in the cloud on the real devices with the uh, uh, it included the desktop browsers it included the iOS and it's also included the Android devices so uh, it grew uh, more coverage with the testing and uh, the main advantage is to uh, if we if we don't have internal selenium grid that time uh, we can easily use this uh, browser stack and uh, we can and go to whichever browser we wanted to use then we can easily configure and run over here uh, moreover these are all our real devices uh, located in the cloud and this really help you to speed up your test runs and because they, you can do uh, multiple browsers uh, on the real time so so it's just really beneficial if you want to run a lot of tests at the same time and uh, moreover uh, once you have this uh, your selenium test cases uh, integrating with the browser stack is pretty easy uh, in today my video session I will show you uh, how you can integrate and how you run these in the cloud and also it is uh, much more easy to have our own create own environment and moreover uh, debugger is much more easier so it, it bring a more uh, information such as logs and screenshot so I will show you about uh, these all information so let's uh, uh, jump in uh, to the uh, selenium test cases first uh, I already uh, created one of the project in uh, IntelliJ IDE and it's a Mavan based project Uh, in in my test case I will show you how I configure this one so what you need to do uh, uh, important part part to connect your selenium test cases in a cloud you need the uh, two things one is the username of your browser stack account and uh, automation uh, authentication key and you can get over in your account if you go to the, your browser stack account and if you click uh, if you click on the username and access keys you get your username here and access keys here so what you need to do you need to copy them uh, on the notepad so you can put them into the uh, selenium test cases so what you need to do uh, to put them uh, you need to uh, add these three lines so uh, and when you're adding remember uh, this uh, base URL need to be start with the username colon the access key and uh, add the rate this is the uh, server place where our test cases are supposed to be going to be run and uh, moreover uh, you need a proper test case here I'm not following any framework so it's a simple test case um, in in this test case the the, the uh, it will uh, browser itself pop up uh, in the IE and uh, and it take us to the google.com and it find the element Q and it, it search for the my name Padmaraj Nidivendi and at the end uh, it uh, get the title and it, it quits so so drivers are closed so this it's it's normally search this phrase and uh, click on submit button and under then it will close. So this is a very simple test case. 
uh, for this one I added more information such as uh, the browser which one and the browser version and the operating system where it's supposed to be run and uh, debugger mode values so so you need to follow this all configuration to make uh, run your test cases on the cloud so, uh, this all information I given in video description so you not need to worry much worry so you can just copy paste then you run your uh, test cases so what I do uh, once I configure uh, this all information I will go to the run this test case once I click on a run it uh, start executing and if you see in a console uh, showing uh, what it is doing okay it it is showing some warnings okay this test case is then it's executed it, it bring this result that what we are trying to print here from this line so this is what printed here and process finished and test case executed once the test cases are executed successfully you have to go to the your browser stack and if you click on the automate you see the information which uh, test cases you run uh, this is test cases we run and the platform is windows xp as we mentioned and browser ie uh, if we play this video we added uh, we get to know like uh, it search my name over in in the google.com yeah that's it that was our test case it done successfully and uh, in the browser stack you get this all run test cases with uh, some special session id and uh, if you look more uh, information you get uh, text logs uh, when it is started and duration and what kind of actions it, it did and also you get uh, more visual logs I mean the screenshots so you can also uh, check by the screenshot here and it's also uh, have a console log but at the moment it's not available and network was also not available more interesting is like uh, if you want to look overview you can click on a raw logs it will take you to the uh, new page with uh, some special session id that was he over here in the title and here we can uh, also get to know more details how this test case run and uh, where the screenshots are located at the moment uh, so if you for example if you want to report some bugs with the, using the screenshot if you click on this link you get this screenshot so you can also report uh, with your bug uh, in this way uh, this tool is uh, very useful uh, if you look uh, more in the inside the tool you see uh, there is a free plan you get for the 100 100 minutes so if you run you can run uh, quite many test cases in this duration if your project is small but if you want to if you have big project and definitely you need you need to buy uh, a big plan so it, it it help it bring more option so you can manage everything quite nicely over there uh so uh, it's also uh, show also parallel test running if you are running with the multiple browser so it also show and if some test cases are queued so it's also bring information uh, it has more information like a completed so i run uh, two test cases both are here one i ran uh, half an hour ago and one is uh, just quickly uh, with in front of you i run 
so this kind of all uh, uh, proper log information you can uh, get here uh, for this all information I given you I given in my video description all the proper links so you can uh, from the browser stack also I given you some links so you can easily configure uh, your the your, your ID and your access key to the browser stack and uh, make run them into the cloud I hope uh, friends uh, you liked uh, my this video and you also uh, if you have some more information about this tool if you know something advanced what I don't know so please comment and if you if your friend want to interested to know how browse stack work with automation uh, please share with this video with him okay friends thank you see you in next video